This is the Interstate Batteries ISO 9000 Certified Testing Lab, and this is our bandsaw, which we're going to use to cut open two nearly identical batteries. This one was made in July of 2020, so it's about 11 months old. The Interstate was made in May of 2020, so it's actually two months older. Let's check their state of charge. Knowing that a new battery should test at 12.6 volts, the older Interstate battery still checks in like new. The other battery, not so much. So let's take a look inside. Cue the bandsaw! So here are the plates inside the newer, non-rotated battery, and here are the plates inside the older Interstate battery. What you're looking at is the difference between a happy customer and the other kind. That white stuff is sulfation, where electrolytes have hardened into the paste, making all this surface area unusable for storing a charge and making this battery more likely to die earlier than you or your customer would like, especially if they paid 120 bucks for it. The rotated battery, though, has a tiny bit of sulfation, but for the most part, this is what a nice, juicy, brand new battery should look like. But you know what? After a year, Interstate's gonna take that battery out of our new inventory anyway. So again, same batteries, one was rotated and recharged by Interstate, the other is a very expensive paperweight. You decide.